Okay, guys, with this data set right here, we're going to translate uh, English to Russian. Now, if you guys want to, you follow my formula, you can go on this website, unzip it, and do whichever data set you feel uh, comfortable with. You guys can use my code for whatever data set you want. Right here. Okay, let's get started. When you're done, it'll quickly translate it. Yep. Now let's get started. Okay. So import these necessary libraries. We're going to read it with pandas, uh, even though we don't got to it. Bad line, error bad lines equals false. Just to show you guys what the data set looks like and why we got to space it out for the next step. And also, uh, the significance and the characters, if you guys uh, choose a, a data set in a, another language that's significantly different from yours. Okay. Uh, so I suggest you guys, if you guys speak another language, um, go it so you can better evaluate the prediction. Okay, so uh, we got to space out the data set. And then we got to append and sort both English and Russian. Remember, when we get to encoders, the input is English because the output is going to be Russian. So encoder, decoder. Okay. So there's the range. And then um, there's your max encoder sequence length, which has to be zero. And then here's the encoder input data where we're going to append and process everything. Be sure to follow all of these codes for the end. Coder input data, the decoder input data, and the decoder target shape as well. And your shapes have to look just like this, or you didn't uh, do the code correctly and space everything out. Now there's your decoder input data as well. Russian text, because it's the output. Okay? Your data has to look just like this. I mean, your shape. If This is how you double check, because when you get to the... LSTM neural network it won't train and you'll wonder why well this is exactly why your shapes have to look just like this do a bat size of 128 do epochs um, if you want it better than mine do 25 or 30 latent dim is 256 and for those and then the input shape should be none English character because this is the encoder do dropouts of 15% for both a return state equals true and return sequences. Same down here, because you want them to return if you have if you pass that if you can pass that parameter. Okay, so your H state and your C state. Remember, this is important in LSTMs. Okay, and the reason why I chose sigmoid when most of the time you do softmax is because softmax took 90 to 100 percent epochs. To train and I felt I wanted to make it shorter for you guys okay and um, it actually took uh, nine uh, 90 epochs to get to where I'm at now so just imagine if you run it at 30 it, it would beat it as if you ran it at 120 at on um, softmax as an activation function and remember your decoder is Russian obviously okay so optimizer is Adam do not do RMS prop. Do not do any of the other ones. Do not do Tom. That's the worst. Okay, and then do uh, categorical cross entropy and metrics equals accuracy. Okay, uh, model fit encoder and decoder input data and the target data as well. Bad size equals bad size, epoch equals epoch, validation split 33%. You see what I mean? If you guys run, want it even better, run it at five or ten more epochs. Save the model, and then we're going to load the model. But here's the thing. Just because we train the neural network does not mean we're done. Just like when we do a convolutional neural network, we got to read the image, resize the arrays with CV2, predict, prepare. Well, something similar. we got to decode it. We got to decode it as well. Okay. 
And then we got to do a reverse lookup when we're reverse looking up, technically. Literally, actually. And then we got to decode the sentence. Okay. And then we got to predict the target sequence and the state's value. MP0 and then Russian character, obviously. Okay. So, okay, so here's your little string. Where is he, right? Okay. And the uh, len of English. And then uh, all of this append. Remember to append. That's very important in uh, any form of natural language processing. Okay. So the imp, we turn them into arrays, and we're going to decode the arrays. And it's correct. Giddy on Bila. Okay. Now let's do another sentence uh, just for you guys. Just say, who is here? Remember, um, you guys, there's several choices for data sets. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's decode the sentence. Okay. Keto is this. Who is here? That is correct. Now, if you guys want perfection, because you guys may see maybe some inaccuracies with longer sentences, run it at more iterations. Or don't take my word for it. Get data sets with longer sentences for better uh, accuracy. Okay, guys, that's all. Next time we're going to do BERT for text classification. Or we might do something else. Um, and then SageMaker. I need to get back to the cloud. I felt I neglected natural language processing uh, on my channel. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.